Well, for my last five novels, place has really been a character in everything that I do. And I moved here to California in 2000, in the year 2000, seven years ago. I had been living in England for 16 years. And they say about the Brits that the difference between a Brit and an American, the English think 100 miles is a long way, and the Americans think 100 years is a long time. And when I came here to live in California, I was suddenly surrounded by the beauty, this geological time, and this immensity of space, and the diminishment of ego against the landscape. Edward, Edward S. Curtis was a photographer bridging the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century. If you're not from the West, and you've seen pictures of the West, um, your sense of what the West is probably was delivered to you either through Ansel Adams or Edward S. Curtis. And the more that I discovered about him, the more the ideal hero image peeled away. There is a modern story of this woman who's a writer who has uh, been fascinated with Curtis and has uh, written the book about Curtis, which is then inside the modern story. So we have Curtis's life told overlapping the the novelist's story. Uh, and let's face it, your life experience is, is basically where, where you choose to stand. What The Shadow Catcher is about, it is, it was for me the experience of searching for the heart of Edward S. Curtis.